Greetings everyone, today we are going to talk about Navia. Navia is elegant looking and she also has an interesting personality. But no matter how elegant she looks, she is a 5 star Claymore Zio character just like Arata Kito. But she is different from Ito, you know. Navia is going to be one of the most unique main DPS in the whole Genshin Impact because she is the first character to use the crystallized elemental reaction. But she might just become a meta as well, depending on how good she is. The reason why Navia might become a meta and be much better than Ito is because of how easy it is to trigger the crystallized reaction. But there is one more factor. It all depends on what she, how much damage she can deal with the crystallized reaction and what her mm. burst is about. We are not sure about her burst but it doesn't sound weak because the leaker said her burst animation is summoning a literal cannon and firing the enemies with it. So it must be strong. There's no other way that it can be weak or something. On the day of Navia's release, there is also gonna be two new artifacts. One of these artifacts is especially designed for Navia because it utilizes and buffs the crystallized reaction which points on it being a dust signature artifact for Navia. The leaks have said nothing about this but I believe that Navia will be based up on defense and not ASP like Zongli or attack like the other main DPS characters. But we will have to wait and see what her confirmed skill kit is like. Until then, we have to wait. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time.